to my channel. I am Love My Fragrance, and on this particular channel, I highly recommend fragrances to you. But before I recommend the fragrances to you, I give you somewhat of a description of the fragrances. But however, I recommend fragrances that I perceive that are lovable fragrances. And the fragrances that I want to recommend to you today happens to be by Gucci. And the reason I'm recommending Gucci to you today because of the fact that I have two fragrances here and I want you to know that they both are Gucci Guilty and Gucci Guilty Black. And I highly recommend these fragrances to you because both of them have some distinctive characteristics revolving around them. First of all, spicy notes. And they both have a distinctive amount of addictive craving supplied to them. In other words, once you smell or attain these particular fragrances, you are going to have an aspiration for them in the future. They both are exceptionally sensual, definitely. And they both have a sweet, loveliness and desire attached towards them. So my advice to you happens to be, don't just choose one. Choose both. Gucci Guilty Black and Gucci Guilty. Gucci Guilty was produced first by the House of Gucci uh, several years ago. And it, these two are from two particular different product lines, but however, Gucci Guilty Black happens to be an addition of the Gucci Guilty. Gucci Guilty Black has some more, I would say, sensual notes applied to it, even though they both are sensual. They have a little bit more uh, sensuality applied toward the Gucci Black, and the Gucci Guilty has a great deal more floral notes applied toward it. But however, they are both women fragrances. The Gucci Guilty happens to be a, a fragrance that's very, very flowery and invites you to be a great deal more carefree. And it has a contemporary but impressionable, spicy, appealing um, fragrance toward it. But however, it's more appropriate for a casual outing and also a scent of indulgence applied toward it, an indulgence of desire. The scent is a little bit more of a floral nuisance, but it's extremely adorable. It's an adorable scent applied toward the Gucci Guilty. And when you take into consideration, I am not comparing these fragrances. However, as I indicated to you before, both of them are lovely designed fragrances and both of them are very attractive fragrances but both of them have their own individual scent I just explained to you exactly what the Gucci Guilty primarily uh, consists of as far as like its attractiveness but the scent is a great deal more distinguishing from the Gucci Guilty Black and the reason why I'm recommending both of these to you today because the Gucci Guilty itself happens to be a sweet berry, a peach scent, which invites you to be in your deepest desires of, at all times. It's floral, not so, the floral sensing within this particular fragrance, however, are not so prominent. But however, it demands your attention. It sends a signal to whomever detect this particular fragrance on you that you <laughs> desires or has an aspiration for some attention. In other words, you're going to get an exceptional amount of attention from this particular fragrance. It's because it's a great deal more provocative and it's a great deal more passionate and it's a great deal more daring. And with this particular fragrance, they classify it as life is thrilling, exceptionally thrilling with this fragrance because it is meant to be lived. It allows you to live within your aspirations, whatever they may be. It smell has a smell of youngness applied to it. Now, I guess it would be classified as more youthfulness, but it is an, a youthfulness that's exceptionally annoying or that give you the perception that it's only for an extremely young individual. It has a great deal of exceptional amount of a maturity applied to it as well but both of these particular fragrances are extremely feminine exceptionally feminine and when you take into comparison the scents 
Yes, this is much more provocative. But they, but this to me happens to be the one that I would consider to be a lot more youthful. But because it's, it they don't classify it as being youthful because it's very impressionable. In other words, this particular fragrance is highly recommend for a softer occasion, like day wear, a lighter occasion. And this here is considered to be for a lot more daring occasion. So I would classify this one as night wear, and I would classify this one as specifically. Um, I would say not necessarily day wear, but I'm not a very extreme provocative of event because it's extremely light and it's extremely floral and the scent itself mm, has an, adult, an indulgence of desires applied to it and it's a lovely intoxicating fragrance, but it has a scent of mandarin, pink peppers, and it has lilac and a great deal of uh, jasmine and peach patchouli's applied towards this fragrance. And the scents are very prominent within here. And I find this particular fragrance to be exquisitely designed. It's an exceptionally lovely fragrance. And I think it's the notes are aligned exceptionally inadequately in this particular fragrance to grant it the scent that they aspire to attain because it's a luxurious scent, which I'm sure that that's what the House of Gucci was going for, something luxurious but very exquisite, but very also entertaining. It entertains you as you wear this particular fragrance and it has an exceptional amount of longevity applied to it. In other words, I find it very, very lovely. I love this particular fragrance because it's soft, it's delicate, it's sweet, it's inviting, definitely, but with the... Um, Gucci Black, I find, but with the Gucci Black, I find this particular fragrance to be a lot darker. And uh, I'm not going to say colder, but like they said, it has a nuisance about it that's very exceptionally spicy. And the spices in there transcends the overall scent where they're totally distinctive of one another, but they have a great deal of the same notes supply within this particular this one they both have exceptional amount of spicy notes within the scent of these fragrances but yet and still it's exceptionally appealing and it's very impressionable with this one mm, it has a great deal of fruity red fruits applied towards this fragrance and also has the pink pepper same as the gucci guilty but the distinction here happens to be that this one consists of a great deal of raspberry and it's very prominent in notes, but however, it also has some peach lolly, and it has the the flower floral attributes applied toward it also. But as I indicated in the beginning of this here the description, that the Gucci Guilty itself it's a lot more flowery and floral, floral, and with the Gucci Guilty Black, it consists of much less floral capacity applied toward this particular fragrance but however they both are exceptionally spicy and i find that very enticing but this one is more spicy with the pink peppers and this one right here also grants you the allure of violets you can detect the violets in this particular fragrance exceptionally well and not only that it comes with a great deal of jasmine attributes applied to it and it gives you this warm feeling of loveliness it's a gorgeous fragrance and it's very warm but yet it still is extremely rich and earthy in other words it's not hard but it's not very soft and delicate either and with the notes that apply in here it has uh, the attributes of intensity in other words it's magnetism applied toward this particular fragrance because it's a more they're both a little bit this one more contemporary and this one a lot more provocative but they both are, are, are very exceptionally passionate scents and you will find both of them very lovely and very appealing and very enticing to wear gucci the House of Gucci has designed two exquisitely designed fragrances here. However, one follows the other, but the designs overall are very distinguishing. And that's why I recommend that you choose both of them. And this particular fragrance also has 
a great deal of powdery attributes apply to wood. This one, which is something that I love, a fragrance, just love that powdery uh, accent that they apply toward their fragrances. Honey, remind me of Mr. San Mr. Rodriguez, Salvatore, remind me of him. And I find that this scent has a little bit of a appeal in equivalence toward that particular fragrance. And I just find it very alluring and very attractive. And I'm very impressed with these particular fragrances because I love me some the House of Gucci overall. Honey, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I love both of these scents. They are a little bit distinctive, but they share a great deal of the same notes. And so let me l allow you to be the the one to choose whether or not your perception of these particular fragrances have any similarities and they are distinctive, but they are very pleasurable to attain and wear and enjoy. So with that recommendation, I am toward Gucci for Gucci fragrances. I just want you to know that honey is hard for me to choose. So I choose both and I recommend you do the same for Gucci Guilty and Gucci Guilty Black because they're lovely and they deserve your attention. And you have a wonderful day. Bye.